the story of how we came to create our digital department really came from a pivot where we started to see diminishing returns from TV. Um, TV is definitely still a really important part of our marketing mix, but there was a lot of hunger to explore what else was out there. And before I joined, the team had really tried and tested some things in digital, but really hadn't been able to prove it out. And so in the last year, we really put together a completely different digital strategy than that had really ever been executed at Fresh Pet that was more based on the principles of always on and content first and not just trying a bunch of different tactics. Um, and we did quite a bit of testing. For us, like everything that we do in a marketing perspective is test and learn. So we're always willing to try anything that really seems like it's gonna make sense for moving our business. And then we judge that against a set of KPIs. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And so we are constantly just adapting our budgets and being flexible and trying new things. And in the last year, what we really found was that uh, you know a lot of the things in the digital space could really work for us and work for driving our business and content was a huge piece of that so that's really informing what we're doing for 2015 where I think last year was really let's see what what all is out there and let's learn and let's see what works and let's see what doesn't this year is we have a handful of tactics that really are working well for us and now let's put those and let's make them work at scale and it's been a real challenge I have to say in the past year we are we're really very data driven and we have a lot of different fragmented tools that we use. And so we're doing everything from social listening where I still think the data leaves a lot to be desired. So there's a lot of touch that we do to clean up that data and really feel like the integrity is there. Um, and then we're using that to kind of drive what consumer perception is of the brand and how things are being received and if our conversation levels are going up. But for us, the really the biggest factor is sales. And we can use our website traffic and our visits to our store locator as a proxy. So we live in Google Analytics pretty heavily and we're always trying to strip out, okay, was this driven by X, Y, or Z? Was this TV, was this a new product, or was it something we did in digital? Mobile is something that we're still really exploring and I think there really hasn't been a turnkey solution that would make sense for us to invest heavily in, though it's something that we're really interested in. Um, so much of our purchasing decision happens in store. Oftentimes people will just be browsing the pet food aisle and we have our big fridge there and it's really disruptive and that's awesome. It works really well for us. But they see that fridge and they need to know essentially everything that they need to make a decision to feed this to their pets. And it's a really informed decision most of the time. So we rely pretty heavily on the in-store experience to drive that um, information, but we also know that people are going and turning to their phone, and so our site is absolutely optimized for mobile. It's been so great to connect with so many really smart people and to talk about all of the things that we kind of talk about day in and day out, but with the same folks over and over. So getting a lot of new perspectives and a lot of really sharp insights has been awesome, and just making some new friends in the brand space too has been great.